Quick one, Fazua Street 50 drive pack and battery. Um, pretty straightforward, if you've got one, you've got one. You'll know how they work, that's a diagnostics port. Problem I've had with this one, it worked absolutely fine, apart from couldn't turn the battery on. Um, pressing this, nothing seems to happen. I've tried holding it, I've tried double clicking, you name it, I've tried it, wouldn't come on. However, run a diagnostic, no error messages, no nothing. No reports at all of any hardware faults, anything like that. Just simply said the battery was not detected. If I plug the charger into here, the normal port, it wakes the battery up fine, not a problem. Put it in the bike, works fine. Absolutely no problems whatsoever. It's just getting the thing switched on. So if you're trying to turn it on away when you know near the charger, so you know maybe return journey after a commute or something, a um, bit of a problem carrying this heavy drive pack around with, uh, with no power assistance. Um, anyway, what I found is this switch is a basically it's a little tacky metallic dome type thing underneath this cover, um, and they basically age. So uh, this hasn't been switched on and off that many times. There's only about I think it's 79 cycles on this battery, so it's not even heavily used. However, this switch seems to be a little bit flaky. So just pushing it, nothing happens. However, if I push it quite a lot harder with my fingernail. Possibly something like the end of a, a pencil might be a good idea, just to avoid damaging it further. Then I can actually get the thing to come on. All I've got to do is kind of press it a bit harder. There we go, and she's on. Um, so what that tells me is I think that the, the little metallic dome thing underneath is probably broken, and it's just not very good. It's just cheap and nasty, really. So. At least I can get the thing on and off. Everything works fine once it's off. I don't have to carry the charge around to try and turn the bloody thing back on. Um, hopefully this will last. It's not going to go. Hopefully it's not going to go faulty, and I can actually still use the thing. This switch, I don't know if it's replaceable, but if it does fail completely, I'm just going to have to take the drive pack apart and see if I can just override that, or you know, wire in a proper switch or something like that. But in the meantime, um, it's not very good. It's cheap and knack, cheap and tacky. These batteries are something like 400 quid, I think, 500 pounds maybe UK. So in dollars, US dollars, you're talking, I assume, sort of $500, that kind of thing. Very expensive, especially for a battery with only 79 cycles on it. This thing here, not particularly impressed, but at least I can kind of um, get it switched back on again. Just got to press harder in the right spot, and it seems to come back on fine. If you've got similar problems, give it a try. It might help. Um, hopefully it will, and you won't have to spend a fortune on a new one. Hope that helps.